Next, we're going to talk about palettes. It's important to remember that palettes are reference data. This means that the changes to the palette are propagated into all of the places the palette is stored, such as presets, cues, and in effects. The first type of palette we want to look at are color palettes. I'm going to clear, sneak, enter to get all these changes off the stage. And the first thing I'm going to do is create a group of all of my fixtures that are color changing in my rig. I'm going to say group 2 through 9 and group 22. Record, group, 99, enter. So now that we have that group, we can say group 99, full enter. It's going to bring up all the color changing fixtures in my rig. And I'm going to go grab my color picker. And I'm going to put them all into a red. So let's store this in a color palette. Group, 99, record, color palette, 1. Label, red. Enter. So now that we have information stored for all of our fixtures in color palette one, I'm going to go ahead and say clear sneak enter. And what you'll see is that if I grab group two and put them at full, and then I say color palette one, enter, they're going to go to those stored values. So let's grab everybody again, group 99, full enter. Now I'm going to move everybody to an orange color. So this time, let's say select last, record, color palette next, which will grab my next available color palette target. And I'm going to label that orange. If you're following along in the workbook, some color palette exercises, go ahead and finish those, and I'll meet you back here.